Session 5 of Module 1 of Fundamentals of Financial Management of 4th Semester BB of Mangalore University. In this session, we shall study about the scope of financial management. As an integral part of the overall management, financial management is mainly concerned with acquisition and use of funds by an organization. The scope of financial management has undergone changes over the years. The scope was limited to procurement of funds that is getting funds under major events in the life of the enterprise such as promotion, expansion, merger etc. Study of financial management considers determination of size of the enterprise and rate of growth, determination of composition of assets of the enterprise, determination of mix of financing that is debt and equity, and analysis, planning and control of financial affairs of the enterprise. In modern times, financial management includes Rather than procurement, procurement is not only the main aspect but there are other decisions along with procurement of funds. You get the funds and also decide about where to invest, how to invest, in which project to invest, how to finance the requirements of the organization and how to take the dividend decision that is when the profits are earned by the organization whether to distribute the entire profit among the shareholders or whether to retain a part of the profits or whether to issue bonus shares so such decisions are to be taken apart from this also working capital decisions or the liquidity decisions that is how to use the funds for which aspects or requirements of the day-to-day -day affairs of the organization, how to utilize the funds and how much liquid assets are to be maintained. The finance manager in a bid to maximize shareholders wealth because that is the main purpose should strive to maximize returns in relation to the risk. So, risk return trade-off that is when you take the risk try to maximize the return for the firm or in turn the shareholders wealth. He should seek the courses of action that avoid unnecessary risk. To ensure maximum return funds flowing in and out of the firm should be constantly monitored to assure that they are safeguarded properly or utilized properly. So, financial management, maximizing the share value or wealth of the shareholders, the financial decisions like financing decision, investment decisions, dividend decisions and while taking these decisions, there should be a trade-off between the risk and the return. Now, let us see the traditional approach. The role of financial management was limited only to raising and administering of funds which is required by the corporate enterprise to meet its financial needs, getting money for the sake of spending. But it covers the following aspects, arrangement of funds from financial institutions, from where to arrange the funds, arrangement of funds through financial instruments like shares, debentures, bonds, then looking after the legal and accounting relationship between a corporation and its sources of funds. So, three aspects of financial management or the finance decisions getting the funds, arrangement of funds from institutions through instruments and the legal aspects and accounting aspect of the funds. 
the limitations of traditional approach these are the limitations that is outsider looking in approach it is followed an outsider looking in approach and not the insider looking out approach since it completely ignored the viewpoint of those who had to take internal financing decisions so internal matters were neglected what the outsider what about the shareholders but what about the management team then ignored routine problems the focus of traditional approach was on procurement of long term funds and it was limited to financial problems arising during the course of incorporation that is starting of the enterprise mergers when two firms are joined combined together consolidation reorganization of corporate enterprises it does not lay focus on day to day financial problems of an organization only major aspect which is once in a lifetime of an organization is given importance but the day to day routine headache or matters which are of necessity which may incur more cost is neglected ignored non corporate enterprises the approach focused attention only on the financial problems of corporate enterprises non corporate industrial organizations are, are being remain outside the scope of the financial management it ignored working capital financing the approach laid over emphasis on the problems of long term financing but working capital that is the day to day requirements or the liquid requirement liquid assets were neglected it ignored the issue of working capital finance and management no emphasis on allocation of funds as pointed out by professor ezra solomon the central issue of financial management was ignored should an enterprise commit capital funds to certain purpose do the expected returns meet financial standards of performance how should these standards be set and what is the cost of capital for the enterprise how does the cost vary with the mixture of financing methods used so traditional approach failed to provide the answers for a few questions therefore it is considered as an incomplete approach so modern approach of scope of financial management technological improvements widened marketing operations development of a strong corporate structure keen and healthy business competition all made it essential for the management or the significance or importance of optimum use of available financial resources for the continued survival of the organization modern approach views finance function in broader sense it includes both raising of funds as well as their effective utilization under the purview of finance not only raising of funds getting funds but also using the funds in a right sense according to modern approach finance function covers financial planning raising of funds allocation of funds and financial control the new approach is an analytical way of dealing with the financial problems of the firm under modern approach the techniques of models mathematical programming stimulations and financial engineering are used in financial management to solve the complex problems of present day finance so proper knowledge of theoretical and applicability part is also essential the modern approach considers four broad decision areas of financial management that is funds requirement decision financing decision investment decision and dividend decision so modern approach is given more importance because it has a broader concept it is 
not narrower like traditional approach it is giving importance to the utilization of funds how the funds are to be utilized how the accounting is to be kept how the techniques modern techniques to be utilized and uh, the major decisions in all respects to fulfill the objectives of the organization references